Hey there everybody, Cody here. So for today, I want to try to unlock some stuff with the Warlock. So he's got a bunch of deal summon damage stuff as the Warlock. So we did these. I could have sworn we would have done enough last time because I think his main attack is a summon. Don't hold me to that. But I think right now the only summons I have are that and then the orbs count as a summon as well. But this unlocks a new um, ability, or I think a lot of us in the community refer to them as spells, or I at least do. And then these are also the same thing, it's just more stuff, but you just get cold for this. So this is the one we want to try to do. Um, and there's a bunch of other stuff, but we'll, we'll go, we'll kind of go through them. So I don't think the rat does damage, but I want to try it out. Um, more projectiles seem like the best gloves. Blood soaked shirt is awesome. I don't think Spike Boots will count as a summon, but I figured it'd be funny to try it out. And then um, I want to see if Ring of Fire does anything. I want to see if the uh, main attack will change colors. So we'll see there. But other than that, let's just hop on in. Um, we haven't checked out Ember Grounds yet, so I'd like to see what's going on there. So we'll, uh, we'll check out Ember Grounds for this vid. I don't think I've recorded a video with um, oh that's the rat ooh the rat looks so good but I um I recorded a video with the cleric I'm not sure if I'm gonna put that one up it was uh we got a bunch it was basically like a health regeneration build just to get some achievements done and I was just kind of messing with the character but I don't know if it was super interesting so I'm kind of on the fence on that one. So we're going to record this one. This one most likely will get released. So we're going to do orbs. And apparently we got the upgrade for orbs um, where they become electrified. So that sounds really awesome. And then Radiant Aura is kind of like uh, this game's garlic. It's different though. It does a lot of damage, but it's on like a cooldown. And it does it all at once. It felt pretty good. I had that on the, on the Cleric run. But the only upgrade I had for it was the um oh god which one was it it just did a bunch of uh it just kept getting smaller but it did it dealt more damage so like eventually i was just killing everybody before they could walk in because my main attack was so long it's kind of funny um this guy doesn't start with a base crit chance so i think we take that um man do we take the health increase to try to so we're better off with the sacrifice stuff I feel like we'd be better off doing like a block thing instead. Yeah, because this guy... Yeah, damage reduction is probably pretty good. He starts pretty low on health and we're probably going to sacrifice a lot of it. Starts with no block. Yeah, see it's all... it's got to be a summon, right? That's why it doesn't show anything. Yeah, and it's got no crit chance. Interesting. So does that mean we want attack speed over strength? Interesting. Oh, I think with the since we got orbs early, I was afraid I was gonna have to sit here and uh, re-roll a few times to get it. Um, I guess we do damage. I kind of don't want to pick up the spells. I kind of want to see if we can get orbs kind of high, and then maybe we'll make a break for the spells. See, I think we want to go for not these. I think those are the ones we did last time. I think we want the other ones that make our summons better. Which should also still affect the main weapon, I believe. But don't hold me to that. The music sound different? The music sounds different. Right? Because it's not the same as what it was, right? Or am I just... Has it been just so long since I've played this stage? That I don't remember. Yes, yeah, so we can sacrifice health for main weapon damage. I can't remember what the other version is. I know that's what we took last time, so let's hold off. Um, take crit chance. Okay, cool. So they can crit. It was weird though. It looked like the crit damage is less than the normal damage. Like we're hitting for like 80 and then the crit damage is less. So this one is all... 
defensive. I might still just want the other one more, but we could try the defensive build. Just feels weird. I think I'm gonna just do pickup range again. Help us level up a little bit easier. Or is it the orbs that are critting? And I'm thinking it's the other thing. Um, let's go area size. We'll make our orbs bigger. Bigger the orb, the the better they say, you know. But I want to get the golem. The golem looked really fun from what I saw from the uh, the dev live streams and stuff. Okay. Um. Okay, so it's duration or more damage. Huh. I feel like eventually they get to the point where they just fly wherever, though. But let's try duration because we did um, sacrifice last time. So yeah, let's do duration. Oh god, I did not see that guy. He just walked up casually and just started wailing on me. Yeah, see, it does seem like eventually they're just flying off screen. I don't know, it looks like they're kind of sticking around. I can't tell. Um, bone size? I don't know. Damage might have been good. I'm assuming it affects our summon, even though it doesn't show it, right? Because those are the generic ones. Uh, yeah, more orb stuff sounds good. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure. The cleric video, I did it on the first stage, just kind of testing stuff out. It seemed fine. Like, it's a, it was a good run, but it was kind of just doing health stuff which felt really weird okay so that'll make my summons bigger right since they're fire based i think we just take the damage though although i haven't seen them burn anybody so i wonder if it doesn't work with this character maybe um yeah sure increase the burn chance at least i don't think they've lit anyone on fire Okay, um, I want the other version of that. I guess let's take block or, block or movement speed there seems fine. They're both not really what we want to see, but it's what we got. So um, I'll do pickup range again. Um, Defense or block? Range? I think range makes the balls slightly... I think they both affect it. Although we could get move speed so they move faster too, actually. Pretty sure that's what it says for it, right? Orbs increases, yeah, with movement speed. If I want rough, roughness, I feel like I want the other one. But we did take some crit stuff already. Now let's just take the flat damage increase. But we keep seeing the the one we don't want. I'm trying to make sure we don't get pinned, but I want to make sure we keep hitting them with the thing with the orbs. Um, so attack speed doesn't do anything for the orbs, but it means we cast faster. Which I feel like that's where most of our damage is coming from. Is us casting. That's my dog is. And I wonder if I should just be taking the orb upgrade so I have a better chance of it um, doing its thing. Uh, weapon, so duration goes down. Or duration goes up, but base damage goes down. I think that's fine. Also, kind of what we want to test out is it lasting for a long time. 
Because the old, the old run, it was just us casting them a whole bunch, but they did, they only hit like one or two things. So in theory with this one, they should stick around forever. Not forever, but you know, for a long time. Yeah, so we can either get... So it's either crit chance or just more speed. Speed seems better, so it's 15%. Where you go for a high crit build. That's so interesting. I feel like this. I feel like I like this one more. Just to get them like going super fast. And then they'll get faster if we get movement speed. Although going all in on crit doesn't sound bad either. Okay, so I want to wait until I get the orbs to level 3. And then we'll pick up the. Um, Excuse me. Coffee's coming up on me a little bit there. Um, 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 but yeah. And then let's do... This is the one we've been looking for. The duration and health for summons. I don't know how that relates to the orbs necessarily. But... Although, man, 50% more crit damage is... It's a lot. Well, maybe, it, maybe it adds to it. You know how, like... Yeah, I guess that makes sense, because that's how, like, the, the normal crit damage one is 40, so it's probably that same kind of calculation. Um, let's do area size. Although we could take this, though. More movements, more movement speed and stuff. Interesting. I'll think about it. Let's just take the, let's just take the area size for now. I mean, that is the one I think I'm going to take, just to test out the build, because we did the, the sacrifice build last time. Um, but yeah, I think if we get orbs to level 3, I think that means when we pick up the spell, we can see the next level. Ugh, awkward. These are the two opposite of the things I want. Let's get, um, some more defense, I think. I think the max health I usually avoid unless I'm, like, below half health for, like, an emergency, like, health boost. I wonder if I should be trying to hit level 100. Maybe we'll do that later. I'm um, sure. I think we can take one crit chance here. I think that's fine. Okay, so we got it to level 3, so maybe? Darn. Um, so I think I've got all of these to level 3 for their ability. If anything's gonna be a summon, it's gotta be these two, right? Passing through character, then flying off screen. Oh, is that why they were moving differently last time? Did they change the tracking for it? Because I had some that were like, instead of just going straight left and right, they were more like an X. I just feel like this would be a summon. Oh, ability types. Ring blades, physical projectile, melee, magic projectile, physical projectile. Oh my god. Oh, interesting. So neither one of these are a summon. I totally missed that earlier. For the orbs, I bet it's a summon. Okay, so physical, projectile. So none of y'all are summoned, so I'd like to... Can I skip? No way to skip, huh? Oh, I guess I'll take ring blades. I know I... I need... There's an, a... One of the swordsman quests I need. It says it can be done by anybody, but I need to get a bunch of damage. Okay, so I'm not moving. Oh god, I'm just gonna take the damage and get out of that circle. There's too many slimes in there. Man, I gotta say, not going the damage route, I feel like my main attack is pretty weak. Compared to last time. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, another thing that I don't- oh no, I did not mean to pick that up. Um, attack speed? I think crit chance is better because of our orbs, right? But, um, that ring I got with the cleric, I don't know what happened. It wasn't in the chest whenever I got back. So I'm not sure what that was all about. 
I should probably be going down to this chest to see what's in it. I feel like we're really low level right now. 25, 8 minutes in. Where'd he go? I lost him. Kind of blends in with the background here a little bit. I'm trying to keep him at that. I want to move, move counterclockwise around him to hit him more. Clockwise is the way to go. Kind of helps spin the orbs into them a bit better. Oh god. I need some health. Um, I feel like this is the better choice, but I only have one thing that's fire. And I don't even know if fire, if it's affecting my main attack. I'm just gonna take this for some more move speed, make the orbs move a little faster. never a good sign when you're fighting the boss and the next boss summons. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, why? Why did I do that? <laughs> I like walked all over the same fire pieces. Okay, let's... We'll take the defensive one again. Still feels wrong. Definitely, definitely felt like we were doing a lot more damage with the last build, which makes sense. We were sacrificing health for more damage, so. Nice, okay. Let's see what we got. Ooh, a couple of new things. Okay, Warhorns. Which weaken enemies in range, weaken enemies receive more damage, okay. Plus 15% health capacity, that's not a helmet. <laughs> that is a definitely not a helmet. Okay, um... I feel like I'd rather have this one unlocked. So what's, this one's attack speed, right? Oh no, you're, sorry. Or five seconds up to 50. That's gotta be better than this, right? Weakened enemies receive 50% more damage. We'll try it out for two seconds. That might not be super great for this guy specifically. Okay, more damage on summons. That sounds good. You could actually get some health regeneration. Since this character has none. I just want more moves speed, but I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the stance because that one has not shown up in a while, and I would like to get it over with. Uh, I did not mean to pick that up, but okay. My pickup range is just too big. Plus 15% projectiles. That could be good. Let's take that. Pretty sure that means more summon damage. Um. Cone size, I guess. Okay. Oh, there we go. Probably just want that one. Those blade upgrades were pretty good, though. Guessing that little yellow thing was the war cry that went off. Oh boy. Yeah, see like eventually they get so far away from you and they're it's like what are you what are y'all attacking over there, you know?
Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the I feel like duration is definitely not as strong as just having the attack really high on the main attack. Just comparing the last, you know, two runs to each other. I, I did record that video the other day though, so. Um, yeah, more orb stuff sounds good. Keep that ring for later. Why oh, you like this game? Forget to pick up the spell from what's his face, or is this from the slime that we defeated? I don't think we picked up any of the spells, right? We just picked up the starter one and we were kind of vibing in that one area. I'm still not exactly sure what the requirements are for the level up spell. in case I die. I'd rather use up the ring so I could get another one. Oh nice. Double potion pog. Red damage. Oh it's only plus 20. I thought it was plus 40. Is it only plus is it plus 40 on the archer or something? Um, I guess let's grab movement speed. I don't know, crit damage probably would have been fine, but look at how fast my orbs are moving, you know? The faster they move, the more damage they do, is kind of my thought process. That's why I'm a little hesitant. Oh, I can't even look. It'd be cool if whenever you hovered over it, it showed you what level it was. Like over here. That'd be kind of neat. Man, this stage is rough with all the fire and stuff. Jeez, picked a bad stage not to go for damage. Oh well, you know. Gotta test this stuff out, you know? Yeah, here we go. Orbs deal additional lightning damage based on their movement speed. Orbs can't electrify enemies on hit. Heck yeah. So now they become a lightning. Lightning. Radiant aura, magic area. Lightning strike, lightning elemental. Hmm, interesting. Doesn't say it's a summon there though. It says it's a projectile. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh god, he's just spewing fire down there. The heck hit me? Oh, I think it was the wave from the the other guy. Yeah, I gotta say the this feels better. Now on the on the warrior or somebody? I mean I guess you always kinda have enemies near you, but I feel like with this guy you wanna kinda be spacing stuff out. So, there is that. But I feel like on the warrior, that war cry would be pretty nutty. Or exterminator. Exterminator doesn't have that much range. Although, later on it might not be that good because of how far out it goes. Um, let's just get damage up on everything. Huh, now if it is, if the orbs aren't a summon, we might have to do a run where we only have the main attack and just avoid all the spells. Just try to get as much um, damage as possible. Interesting. Very interesting. And then I've also got to figure out how to get the other two characters unlocked. I think there's a total of seven characters that are playable. 
And we only have, uh, I only have five unlocked right now. So far, whenever I looked at the quest, unless I missed something, the only one I saw that mentioned any sort of character was the, um, the cupbearer. But I think that's an NPC. Okay, crit chance and size. Sure. Guess I can switch rings out again. It is interesting that since I have the fire ring, I didn't have it equipped, but you can still get the level ups. Really only a problem if you discard the ring. But I don't think I've seen my main attack burn anybody. Like, the effects are pretty obvious now, I feel like. Oh well, at least we got an item to send back. We can uh, we can try to send back another one. I, again, I don't know what happened to that ring. With that ring, I feel like the getting the summon damage would be a lot easier because those things were definitely summons. But we'll see. Wow, we messed this dude up. Jeez. Um, pick up range, sure. Hey, back off, punk. Um, I do actually want to get the ring blade stuff upgraded so we can try to get another one. Wait, where did this other spell book come from? Uh, let's do crit chance because we took crit chance on both of our orbs. What is this spell book from? It's from an elite since it's got the gold around it. That's a lot of spell upgrades, jeez. Um, yeah. That puts us at level 3. So in theory, it should be, it could, it's an option at least. I'm not saying it will be there, but we can try. Oh man, I just noticed how big we got the orbs to be. Sure, I guess. Kind of want the other one. Uh, let's get ready and aura. We can show that one off. Wow, it's so big. It was so small at the end of my last run. Whoa, who's this? Whoa, look at this guy. Hey, it's the guy from the bridge. Well, not the guy, but he's that enemy type from the bridge. And he's messing me up, dude. Go ahead and just get ready to use that. Yeah, see, I kept getting that one last time, where the aura got smaller. I don't think I want that one. So I'm going to avoid it. Nice. Bunch of orb damage. Love to see it. Dude, I am tripping with all these spells that we're seeing. Um, ooh, so it's... Big or ripping? I think we go big, right? Although going hard into crit chance does sound pretty cool. Hey. Okay. Had a feeling I was gonna die there. It's two projectiles, additional blades deal magic damage, and can apply a fragile. Oh, and they can't be blocked. That's pretty sweet. Again, no idea what's causing it. Oh, look, they're red now. Well, some of them are red. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna just take health because we're so low, I think. Dang, dude's popping off. Look at that thing. We're just ring blading it up. Okay, it's a pretty solid upgrade. I've liked all of the all of the upgrades have felt really good. Summon enhancement, 25% for our radius. I kinda wanna get this one upgraded so we can see it again.
Yeah, I want to see what the Radiant Aura final level is. Ooh, got out of there just in time. Not sure if it's the right choice, but I think it'll be fun. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm going to take health again, which feels super awkward, but just because I'm so low. I think if the boss was dead, I'd probably take something else, but I wanted that little bit of buffer, I think. Oh god, I walked into the attack. Okay. Damage and charge speed? That sounds great to me. Nice, okay, let's see. Maybe we got something cool in the chest. Ooh, what is this? Summon a random imp, either a sturdy imp or three normal imps. Each imp has a different base lifetime, depending on how long each imp can be. X speed and damage. We absolutely take that. Yeah, Aurea Radius and Aura Damage. That sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, let's do that. It being bigger seems like the way to go. But I think in the run I did it last time, since I like had no levels with it, I didn't do that much damage. Or let me rephrase that. Since I didn't have it super highly leveled, I think the only option I could get was the one that makes it smaller. But it, it does give it a bunch of damage. You're seeing. I don't know what that means exactly. For this one. Because it already pierces enemies, so... Does it mean it pierces less? I feel like the other one's dura- I think we did that one last time, so I think we want to do the other one just to test it out. So, um... Oh, so his regen is weak. Was that strong on the cleric? I can't remember. Um... Yeah, I guess crit chance here. I wonder how we get multiple orbs. I wonder if that's a talent that I need to unlock. Jesus, getting kind of hairy here. I'm gonna try to just stand still for a little bit. So do we have any... We have a little bit of health regeneration just from the shrine. Got it. Ooh, critical? That sounds good. Or we could get this up to level 6. More attack speed sounds good. Now let's do this. Crit chance. See, what I can't tell is I'm assuming, like, is it each level is different? Or does do we have a chance to get, like, for each ability, it, show, it, it shows up at each level. Like, does Radiant Aura have three different levels to choose from? Um, this seems good. Attack speed on that. Does seem to be putting in some work. And we're casting it so frequently. Duration main weapon, damage, attack speed main weapon. That sounds good. Yeah, let's do that. Stupid imps. Okay, that's good. Did a million damage. With the orbs. Um, charge speed, I think. Health is tempting here too, but I think we're okay. I think just getting our attack speed up is the way to go. Ooh, Sacred Flame emits an additional... Oh, snap! I can get another one? Blades can apply this slow effect? Oh my god. Oh, how does these... How do, I gotta figure out how these work. It's gotta be based on what level they are. Wait, what's this? Oh, Summon Dimps. Okay, good. It's an additional fire-based attack that will just shoot a certain number of burn stacks small. 
Interesting. Number of stacks can increase with burn chance. I feel like we just do this, though. That's even more blades that get thrown out. I guess those are the lighter colored ones. Interesting. <laughs> Dude, that's so many blades. Yeah, charge speed on this. Yeah, so it's gotta be based on the level. So that's cool. I didn't realize there were multiple upgrades, evolutions, whatever you wanna call it, for him. So that's super interesting. I'm gonna take the health just because we're so low. <laughs> and this part of the stage terrifies me. Attack speed seems good, I think. More health is tempting too, but I think just attack speed to keep the, sl the slimes at bay. Felt like I was gonna die there. Let's grab that magnet. Um, upgrading this seems pretty good. Sure. I wonder if by cone it means like the area that it can go into. Um, I'm gonna take crit change just so it doesn't show up anymore. If that makes any sense. Also seems good we kind of took some crit stuff with all of our uh, spells abilities. Uh, yeah, cone size sounds great. That maxed out. Strength sounds great. I'm struggling to see how we're gonna hit level 100. Like he's, it's. Oh, well, this build was weird. We did take all the more defensive stuff, which I kind of think isn't amazing. Um, sure, more speed. That sounds good. Let's keep that going. But um, what was I saying? Because like to reach level 100, it, at least knowing what we know. But the old strategy is to just basically get a spell and stand still. I don't know if you can do that on this guy at the earlier stages just because of his attack. Like his attack is a lot of like moving and positioning yourself correctly type stuff. Okay, yeah, I think to get the summon damage we need to use these rings and stuff from the very beginning. And there's two of them. There's this one that we just saw, and then there's the one from the cleric video I think I uploaded. I think I got the ring in that one, and I, I'm pretty sure I sent it back, but um, it wasn't in the chest when I got back. Um, sure. An even bigger aura. I definitely do want to do a build where I get the aura to where it's like the whole screen, if possible. That would be pretty funny. I think. I think it would be funny. Emits an additional attack that can apply fragile. Yeah, so there are... Okay. So there's a couple of different upgrade paths on each one. I like that. Okay, let's work our way over to one of these magnets. There's not a map, right? No, there is a... Very interesting. Oh, nice. Wow, we did 3 million damage with the ring blades. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. Movement speed makes the orbs better. Also helps me walk to this magnet. Oh, there we go. There's one right there. Yeah, we haven't seen a boss in a hot minute, huh? Um, sure, I'll just finish off pickup range so it can't show up anymore. Oh man, now I wonder what the other... So we saw both of piercing and duration. Sure, we'll take that. That's kind of what we're going for. Yeah, see, that's what we need to see. We need to see more of the... Like them curving around and stuff at the edge of the screen. 
Yeah, see, like, what are those two? They must be attacking enemies off screen. Because, like, the framing of the bar is clearly here to give it the retro squared look. But there's stuff off screen, obviously. And there usually is in games like this. I don't know why I'm saying that, like, it's some. Um, like, that's some big revelation. Um, yeah, I guess we just get some damage stuff. Damage defense. Damage reduction. I don't know why I struggle with that so much. Yeah, I gotta say, with the for the main weapon stuff, definitely feels a lot stronger on the sacrifice and the bloodletting path for those. Um, let's get some more critical damage, I think. Wow, I can't believe that's only level one. I haven't taken that once, apparently. Also, where are all these magnets coming from? Like, they just crank up the drop the drop rate trance, I wonder? Because I'm assuming the the main attack is hitting stuff off screen. Same with the ring blades, because those go off screen too for a little bit. Um Yeah, charge speed sounds good on that one. I just realized that orbs is still just three. Before, whenever you would equip the gloves, it would give you four, right? I'm not, I'm not misremembering that. Um, yeah, movement speed, so my orbs are faster. Interesting. I wonder if I have to unlock the upgrade that gives me more orbs. Very interesting. Um, let's go attack speed. We are just slinging ring blades, though. A pretty solid upgrade. This would be a good. This would be a good shot for the thumbnail here, where I'm just like throwing out ring blades like crazy. It's pretty good. Spell upgrades are pretty sweet. Very nice touch. Just gotta figure out how I'm unlocking. Yeah, sure, even bigger ring blades. Oh wait, there's a... Are we... Did we kill a boss off screen? Like, before it even made it to us? Is that what happened? Uh. I'm gonna take another one of those, sure. Okay, we should get to the well to send our, imps, our imp ring back. Yeah, maybe I'll do another, maybe I'll do a couple runs offline to um, try to get the thing. I'm um, sure, yeah, aura strength. How how many upgrades do these have now? Nine is insanely high. That gold, I do need some more gold so I can finish off those uh, last few level ups. Okay. The item has been retrieved. Y'all saw it, it's on tape. More roughness? Nine? Okay. So that's two of those at level nine now. But I wonder what the f I wonder if there's a limit. Or if it just scales indefinitely. Who is hitting me? So I'm getting hit by the worms and stuff? Not that much damage, but still it's a you got the imps jumping in. Just absolute chaos. 20% damage and cone size. Sure. Okay, so all three are at level 9. Nice. I think that's the final level for that one. So that's pretty cool.
Yeah, I think each weapon had a had a new like unlocks and stuff tied behind that exact time kind of thing. Just get defensive all the way up just to see what it looks like. We get up to 75, it's not bad. I know there's also another way to get level 100. There's a new, um, there's at least one new item that helps you get more experience that I know of. But it's going to be a while till we get that one because we need to get, let's just take attack speed. Um, I think it's like level up 500 times or something like that. I, I'm pretty sure. It's like a jade amulet, I think is what it's called. So it'll be a while. Some of the stuff I did, but like the achievement wasn't in the old version of the game, so I have no idea how they would track that. That one, and then the shopkeeper one is, is uh, looks like it's messed up or bugged. I don't know what verbiage you want to use for it, but uh, it's like retrieve 500 items or something like that. So bloodletting, so more projectiles, or defensive. We've been doing defensive the whole time, so we gotta stick with it, right? So it's just doubled up for trait four it looks like there I believe that's the final level of it dude so many magnets are y'all seeing them like look at them might as well walk towards one of them wish I knew which one was closest I think there's one pretty close here. It seems to move a lot, just for me moving. Although just standing still is the better XP farming method, so it doesn't force enemies to switch sides, spawn on the other. It, I don't think spawn's the right word because it literally stops spawning enemies when they're when they get swapped across. Yeah, we'll just chill here. Gotta say, ring blades pretty strong. I mean, we did get both of the uh, evolutions for it, but still. Um, it's gonna go range. I don't really know what that boosts for what stuff we have. I imagine it would make the would it make the radiant light bigger? I don't think so, because I think that's more. I think that's affected by area size. Range is more of a projectile thing, I believe. For this game, at least. Oh man, I picked it up. Um, yeah, bit damage sounds good. Okay, the last thirty seconds, getting a little hairy here. We still have our, we still have our. We got our second revive ring, and well, we used one revive already. We should be fine. Ooh, I wonder if this is. Oh my god, there's a level ten. Holy smokes! It just keeps going. Yeah, I guess we take that. That's a good one. Crit chance and stuff. Okay, I wonder if it's going to be the same uh, final boss or if it's got a different final boss now. I'm taking... I guess my block is going off or something, or my defense. Um, same guy as the first stage, I think. Did he hit me with his projectile? health because I'm about to die. Walk over to one of these pickup rings. Man, we are just shredding his health though. Freaking these rings aren't messing around. I imagine that's what's doing all this damage. Okay, yeah, this is the same guy as before, right? I think it's the same guy from the first stage. I played a cleric, the cleric when I was talking about earlier, I played on the first stage. Dude, we're just deleting his health with these freaking rings. Augers. Dang, dude, look at that. Six million damage, bro. That's insane. Why is this? Is it because it's radiant? No, if it was alphabetical, that would be at the top. Dude, that's insane. That's so much damage. Okay, so getting the evolutions. Big surprise. Very good.
Don't know what that means exactly. Is that boosted because of my meta progression? The shrine upgrades? Nice. Well, hey, we did it. That was uh, Ringblade Warlock, I guess. I don't know what to call that one. But uh, thanks for watching, y'all. And I'll catch you in the next one.